Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are off here to a one versus one on a Minsk pocket with me, your host Imperial Dane here with the propaganda cast. We shall be watching Wuhan Cha here fighting for the Soviet Union. And the sixth mechanized car going up here versus Northwest Fresh Reborn fighting for Germany. For the Reich, for the 101st Jäger Infanterie Division. We are noticing here some additional pioneers, in fact, noting a dual pioneer sort of here from Northwest Fresh Reborn, thus indicating he intends to sort of grab more territory initially. Then what Malam is maybe expected. We do see, of course, an infantry company up in terms of commanders. We also see that Wuhan Chao has chosen advanced warfare. Northwest Fresh, on the other hand, with spearhead, festung support, and lightning wars. So a bit of a mix there with a bit of overlap between mortar half tracks, amongst other things. Back to Wuhan Cha, Northwest Fresh here, boldly advancing, grabbing territory quickly as it goes. Common years, conscripts moving out here, conscripts on fact moving out. And also noting here right away, he's not aiming for the fuel pond right as soon as he could be. Instead, he's aiming sort of more for the angle right there. But I suppose this is a bit more of an older Wehrmacht startup. In fact, it sort of allows him to actually have more units out in the Russian players, sort of initially, although, of course, at the same time, I mean, he will be a bit lacking in firepower compared to the Russian player with two pioneer squads. But still, I mean, it does allow him a bit more, sort of, initially. And right here, Comet is coming into contact with Pioneers. Conscript linking up there in the centre. And we're seeing sick empty crew there arriving for Northwest Fresh. My engagement is looking good for the Pioneers here. The Comet is overall holding steadfastly. Ensuring the Pioneers don't get off as many shots. They keep running about they here. Do get one kill, but overall the Pioneers need to get out of there. The only thing is really team here is basically yeah, delaying not one child here from gaining the munitions point. We have a new unit. One of these there with an MG42 slowly following up. More conscripts have ranked one child so far. Four conscripts squads already in initial engagement between grenadiers and conscripts. We are ready. MG42 is setting up there. This now help? belongs to the people and workers of the Soviet Union. If conscripts Union. advance further down here, they'll be met with an MG42. Of course, at the same time, right now here, the con another conscript squad foot flank around the MG42. So there we go. Conscript spotted. MG42 fires away. A rapid burst. There's been from another side. Pioneers been forcing slowly. Another MG42. And here, not a lot of infantry so far from Northwest Fresh Reborn. Conscripts there pushed away. Northwest Fresh pushing ahead. Further, further. We actually see the conscripts are actually falling back, not trying to sort of sneak up behind the MD42. That will at least to me you know, be the more initial idea, but seemingly that is not within the scope here. In fact, he's running in straight in front of the MD42 here, although coming from such a angle there, in fact, he gets behind it damn close. And then we do see the MD42 rush straight, but again, that could also be achieved by simply sneaking up here behind. Yet again, why he did not is a good question. MG4 moving up here, fresh pioneer or reinforced pioneer squad moving up there. We do see that all first fresh reborn is getting a bit of part time pushing forward with the lack of infantry and the old emphasis on support weapons and pioneers so far. We also noting these pioneers have also suffered minor Your losses in a scuffle there secured. with the conscripts right there. The Flame thrust being put with the pioneers. And there goes the is set up to support the pioneers. Interesting issue. We're noting here another grenade squad arriving finally for Northwest Fresh Reborn. Flowing left for Pioneer holding back here the fuel point, perhaps going to guard it. Comes to their forced away. Clearing up the right flank. MG4 to quickly shift into here. Looks like he's going to be focusing up a lot here for another set to push with numerous weapons. Pioneers need to be careful. MG4 to setting up here at the edge of the right hand side. And there goes Country coming under fire. Fire pouring in at them at the same time. Troops are pushing up here. And looks like Red Guard moving in there. Oh, he's not paying attention. He's not seeing it. The creep up there. For, but no, nope, the MD42 does shift but at the same time. Oh, close up with the burst. The Molotov goes off. Pioneers pushed away. And he's there. MD42 moving up. Another guy's squad arriving. Things are definitely looking a bit hectic. A bit shifting in the center at this moment. Definitely a less than usual build order. We are seeing from Northwest West Reborn, though. Pioneers have forced away. Most of the emphasis now seems to be on the left half push here with numerous gunners in the MB42, MB42 here. Close to getting cut down retreat. That would definitely not be good. 
Looks like he's hoping to get behind them with the MD42 here. But at the same time, the way he's moving his MD43, I mean, he's rather dangerous. He risks encountering and reinforcing cards before the ultimate here. And when Char has gone very heavy on the infantry, we say talking very heavy. I mean, he's got five squads of conscripts. That's definitely a lot of pressure there. He's hoping to apply with some conscripts. And we're noting a third MD42 here. Perhaps North Fresh is already sensing something here, but that is definitely three MD42s and only two guns and two ponies. That is definitely less than regular. And now we're seeing the MD42 even push ahead. I mean, he's getting incredibly aggressive with them, and again, I'm a bit worried about him. He's very easily risking losing one to a conscript squad from the right angle. So that is definitely something he needs to be considerably worried about. At least he's finally moving up soon to support a conscript there, taking a beating. Common is looking to flank in. We do find some grenadiers, but again, more forces moving up. Lots of machine and gear. And a fourth one. That is definitely not cricket. That is definitely out of the usual, right here. Four heavy machine guns, only two gunners. I mean, that's clearly some rather static playing summoning guards. But at the same time, with the MG42s, I mean, you could certainly play around with them, but it's. I'm I'm a bit stumped, to be honest. It's definitely not something I've seen, and certainly not something I'd expect from a player like him. I mean, it's something that more sort of... Been, uh, well, I wouldn't say novice, because he still actually has infantry, but still, it's rather irregular. It's definitely the first time I've seen something like this. Engineer squad. But again, I mean, it's also something that can quickly be turned against him. He's not careful, because again, I mean... One fold in again is going to be and uh, Pony also note here. I mean the there's a lot of trees here blocking. Saltzman he couldn't really cover this one very properly with his MP42. Bit unfortunate there. I mean that's a bit the tricky part with Minsk. I mean you can easily end up thinking, oh my MP42 can fire here, but turns out apparently they can't. So it's something I have to be careful about here on Minsk pocket when it comes to heavy machine guns. And this one for example, he can't pass one another to be up. Ah, he might lose it, he might lose it! Firing here, point blank, there goes Ampak, looking like he'll lose to the flame first again, this one simply can't support, he's shifting in, but it might be too late here, point blank firing into the comments, but there we go, the entire MD crew bound to a crisp, at the same time, minor stuff going on here, MD42 slowly advancing again on its own, also noting a fuel cache, I mean, this is definitely some delays play, you can see here, hoping to get some fuel advantages that way, and sort of get some armour. There we go, conscripts are sneaking in from every conceivable angle. There we go, this MG4 towards a fine gun support. Molotov on the other MG4 to a flammer there for Punio, fighting versus the conscripts at the front. Kennedy is slowly advancing again, again, again. More flame for our pioneers moving in. And there we go, Molotov off catching numerous pioneers on the street for all to the conscripts. Oh, Shaser. One charge is slowly losing ground here to all of these heavy machine guns and all the other things going on. But at the same time, he managed to clear one out. Looks like so far we're not seeing North Cliff Fish before doing anything. We could, could use these kind of ears. Sorry, a bit depleted. Just a crude. Get back. And now assault packages up. So that means these conscripts will all of a sudden become a very, very nasty assault force. We should support them company. But definitely, we're likely going to be expecting all of these conscripts. That is, these 30 conscripts being equipped with a large number of submachine guns as well. Troops here running train to another MG42 covering this part. Good, good. Not this is, at the same time, this is actually a bit open. And of course, we've got this angle. We've got these pioneers doing the best over the back with Flamethrower and Car 98K. The Germans using such an old rifle, which is basically just a slightly shortened version of the World War One rifle. There we go, something going MD42 in top. In fact, we got two MD42s now pointing down this Captain angle. No Not sure why he's being that heavy on emphasis there. Oh, more turning the wrong one. More turning the wrong one. Cunning to hold up here. Things look a bit depleted. Otherwise, the Germans really went for that old rifle because they were basically, in terms of their infantry doctrine, Placing emphasis on machine guns like the MG42, both basically the heavy and the light version with the MG34 for that. I mean, the Soviet army actually thought a bit the opposite, which is why they actually used the Maxim for quite a large part of the war. Because again, they placed emphasis on rifles. Though, of course, they couldn't actually quite fully equip the troops with it initially. So they still also had to rely on older rifles, but that was less by design, whereas with the Germans it was by design. And for turning up, yet, and they need to fall back. Zurückfallen! 
Either that or he needs to get up a command bunker here. I mean, that could be an interesting way to keep up the pressure here at the front. I mean, with all these MD-42s, a command bunker would probably make a bit sense. There you go, Maxim moving up. Oh, he's going to catch all these troops in nice city. Great need to fall back. And Tindy Armpins going to go to the ears. There we go, finally getting them out of the way. Alt and Tindy Armpins around, so a choice here. But now they are getting suppressed. Oh, he is shifting out to it, I think. But there we go, it is simply too late, too late. Again, I mean, MD42 is on there or not. They're going to go there and try to set up again, already being rod. Molotov not going to work here. Flame for a party doing what they can. You are seeing now that also just falling being forced to fall across, back across the entire front. And we might see some pioneers are getting lost as well. Although it looks like some Russians are catching on fire from all the Molotovs getting locked left and right. Popping over to Northwest Fresh Reborn, who seems to actually lost one. Oh, over there, he's lost one MD42 on its own. So far, the one child's not secured it for the motherland, though that could easily change. In which case, he might be in a bit of trouble, Mr. Northwest Fresh Reborn. Also, looks like How he's got a head? third squad of guys, in fact, equipping all of them with light machine guns. So, rather heavily equipping his troops right there. Slowly advancing. And the small assault detachment being sent right, while the larger force moving up here the centre. Few upon here being slowly secured. And we're noting here straight moving on to the mechanised armour campanella. Perhaps sensing what is North First Rush's bomb going on with this rather heavy tier 1. Of course is an armour rush and he's hoping to prepare for that. Though so far we have not seen the last bit being built that is the support weapon of the support armour core which he actually has otherwise the tech one I believe the resources for as well. Pioneers and Gunners are fighting versus conscripts. Can they? Molotov going off here. Quickly shifting, no, quickly shifting. Fuel cast still standing. MD42 here. Running force one range to the max. And mines going down. Good, good. For one child there. And there we go. Conscripts will stop all the half the Gunners. What is lost? Veterans on these pioneers. Definitely getting more out of them. And there we go. MD42 suppressed here by the Maxim. Gunners and MG crews slowly advancing. Just three MD-42s, drive grenades flying through the air, just absolutely shredding that one crew there. Not looking to be a fun time there, not looking to be a fun time. Cartridge then running in front of it, and they're just getting massacred as well. Just intense machine gun fire, and a mine goes off there, taking out half the MD crew at the same time. Cartridge still in pressure there to the fuel cache, which again is another indicator that likely again with all these MD-42s. Oh, MD crew runs into another mine, so many mines, they're just catching so many of the MD crews here. Rather unfortunate for North West to be born, and then they go before secured for the motherland. Combat engineers quickly seize it, wipe off some of the blood, and then set it up behind a box of munitions. Get out of here! Continuing up the pressure, going straight for the fuel point. I'm seeing here a massive Soviet force moving out, all geared up with submachine guns and a machine gun in tow. And these conscripts here forced to run past a gauntlet of a thousand bullets. And there we go, almost the entire squad there wiped out right in front of the... Oh, and went down to that MD-42! Right here in 10 yard pissing rounds, would be good to really know... And there we go in 10 yard pissing rounds. They're a bit late though, but at the same time, in really powerful there we go again, just doing a lot of damage to the conscripts, shredding them up. Flame first being applied there by the Russians, MD-42 is firing in. Molotov's going off. MD-42 needs to fall back, but he might get lost, might get lost. MD-42 is here setting up, another one, another one. There we go, that one has been killed. The light machine guns and the heavy machine guns just bearing down upon all the conscripts. It's a wall of bullets. Flame for attack, burst open, Katusia forcing North by first reports to pull back, being behind an MD-42 more. And here's some pioneers, absolutely took a flashing they won't soon forget as well. And there we go, one child now up with Three heavy machine guns, one Maxim, two MG42. He's definitely getting a firepower advantage right there. And with the Kuchusha there, things are definitely going to get a bit more unpleasant. A bit more. Flak Panzer is to respond here, hoping to punish all the infantry from Wuhan Char further. Rolling through the woods, crashing trees beneath its mighty threats. 
Medic bunker going up there. Using Russian infrastructure, the master's great. Into the flat punch of 30 centimeter rounds going off between the trees and bushes. And here, Pioneers encountering a conscript squad and quickly breaking a very brave retreat in the face of such Russian opposition. Medic bunker upgrade on the way. Still no commander choice here from North West West Report. And some gunners here encountering the MG42. MG42 caught off position and retreated there. We're seeing he's just going full on in with the flak punts, absolutely unconcerned with mines at all. Has been converted to there we go, medic bunker ready, medics quickly running up to patch up Heinz, Helmut and Friedrich. And there we go, lightning war, Jaeger infantry packages upgrade available. I'm seeing some of those equipped, also tactical movement, relief infantry targets available including also the Stuka close air support, the Kanonenvogel. And he's actually running straight up to the base here. North West West Reform feeling rather confident here. Perhaps only some harassment, keeping his opponent a bit off guard here. I mean, he's actually managed to keep most of one charge force here at bay with a single armored vehicle. Not half bad, not half bad, but we do see the responses here. A field gun has finally arrived. Finally, one charge getting some anti tank. Probably should have been more prepared for that. Fort Wim Company here, suffering under the high explosive shells. There we go, rocket barrels going in, forcing the Austrian Axe back, interesting enough, despite doing no damage. Oh, combat use went down to their own rockets! First kills here for the Katusha, first block drawn, was their own. That's hardly a good start. Again, pushing for the fuel cash, hoping to deny. I mean, that's actually so far given North West Fifty One quite a bit of fuel, and I imagine he's quite pleased with that. And we're just seeing a massive force here moving up. Conscripts, machine guns, and fuel guns. Lots of guns. MD42 setting up again, though he is beginning to feel the lack of them. Veterans one available. I mean, he could switch in Sydney off his round here. There we go. In fact, he is already. But it's not firing for some reason. It's not firing. I think it's back. There we go, though. But ultimately, forced wave up is going off. Black Panther holding the rest of his bay. Engine damage due to a mine they done previously by one char. And we're seeing he's moving on to heavy Panzer Corps. Now that's interesting. Northwest West Reborn definitely not playing by the current books, that's for sure. And it's definitely rather interesting to note. We're being Black Panther falling back here, rapidly. Katrusha needing death on a family party needs to fall back rapidly. Half the crew wiped out. Nick's good. There we go. He's getting a Panzerwerfer. Interesting, interesting. At the same time, though, in it, T3045 has arrived. Courtesy of Advanced Warfare. And that department is actually quite vulnerable to it right now. He's got nothing to stop it. He only can really hope to stop it with the Panzerwerfer. There we go. Panzerwerfer stop. Sturmgeschutz instead on the way. Delaying its advance there with a Panzerfaust penetrating the frontal armor. And again, one char advances. Right flank seems now to be completely German. No attempt to deal with that. Black Panther quickly advances and opens up there on the maximum. So far, noting not a single kill on it, by the way. Not a single kill. But there we go. And Tiger available now for Northwest West Reborn. Might he try and save up for that? MG42 reloading first before doing anything rather unfortunate. Storm gets shots per 
Interesting to note, no mines though from Northwest Fresh Reborn, by the way. No mines, Kai Minen. And over here to Wun Chai again, with the considerably larger falls at the moment. T-35, pound still being repaired. Area secure. Here. Action all across here, rock grenades flying and failing to connect. Stormka shoots, moving ahead, Falk Pants heading with the conscripts over here, support with MP42. Striping round going in there, quick appearance by the Soviet Air Force. Also been too occupied here with the conscript trying to shoot down the advancing aircraft. Conscript there taking a bit of a slapping. Where's the T-3045 quick move through? Crashing through one tower, thankfully no one was in it. That's good going to force back that edge Ostwind. Meanwhile, finding continues over here. Maximum MD42 holding up the gun of the here with their own MD42. Okay, that's the last one. And what is he getting next? It seems like he's spending more fuel, so it's not even setting up for the Tiger Tank. Also, knowing the fuel cache has finally gone down. A sold up here. here. Looks like he's making a direct assault at the same time. There are minor things going on here. MD42 caught here by other MD42s. Could it be lost? And the MD42 handed back to Germany. Stuke supporting, caught and going. T3045. Osman there, almost down though. We see quick blitz here, rockets, dropping back into towards over here, yes indeed, firing up what he'd hopes the target, but clearly is, and then also all of this is happening, one in the first year again, infantry division, gets another piece of artillery support at this time, a flak, not flak, Panzer 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 up. but uh, and then now pissing here, just tearing and wiping out a country support, that good use of incendiary armor pissing rounds, absolutely punishing, absolutely punishing, it really is an underestimated ability, but clearly Northwest West Reborn knows its value and it's really trying its best to get off most of it as possible. And there you go, the Panzer F on Nizi's death now. Not entirely sure what he's hoping to catch, except some insects. Quickly moving in there, we go getting off an asset on the T-3045. There you go, T-3045 almost down to a less than half health. Field gun quickly moving in, we see here the Stuke is actually pulling back rapidly, infantry pushing up, also on the right flank. Left flank as well. North by first making rather broad advance, also knowing here we are down to pack from five to three squads of conscripts. So we do note here that one has suffered some losses. For the motherland. More rockets flying across. This time actually killing someone rather than something. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. They are trying to burn us out. Pioneers in a bit of trouble. Looks like they're making a run for the house to hold up against the conscripts. And fire out the flamethrower from there. Hoping they can sort of survive. There we go. Gaining veteran too, but perhaps realizing they need to get out of there rather. Schnell. Los, los. And Flag Frontier supported by the Stormkeeper just moving up the right left flank. We're sort of seeing a lot of shifting out going on from both players. Sort of trying to find a weak spot to break through. And the other players sort of shifting in forces to deal with this small incursion there. It's rather mobile and agile play from both. Rather just, you know, head-on clashes with, you know, basically bashing their heads into a wall, which is nice to see, which is good to see, in fact. Of course, it can also be a bit tricky to keep up with, so it's basically they'll always be happening something somewhere. MD42 finds Vince the other MD42, Pants of Effort finding where as well, gaining a few more kills. Another fuel cache up here, looks like he's very intent on maintaining at least one fuel cache at all times, again, showing he does have some flow of fuel. T-35 here pushing up here, in field barrage up here as well, and then MD42 pushing away. With an H-25 auto rubbing it to support Wuhan Cha in the fight against fascism. T-34 
Incoming fire! Find some cover, engineers! Quickly seeing that armored force moving in to try and deal with it. You're as ready as we can be. And the S-35, well, it's basically a T-34 chassis, basically made out to be an assault gun or tank destroyer. Sort of a little fun fact. Little fun fact. As you might actually be able to note, we sort of look at it from the right angle. Anyways. Gunnelisia versus the maximum up close, not looking good for the Gunnelisia unless he can get off a rifle grenade. Nope, pinned. We have the point. And a strafing run going in. It looks like, oh no, it looks like they actually did manage to retreat. Never mind then, never mind then. Enemy contact. Enemy fire. And give it for the fuse being equipped for the Gunnelisia, further empowering them. Versus Soviet infantry. A quick response so from the Katrusha, the Stalin organ, as it was known by the Germans, firing away. Will there be a Panther next, or what will there be here from North Russia? Bond those actually looking like he's aiming for a Tiger tank. That could definitely work. Panther Alpha though needs to consider actually pulling away. It's awfully close here to the enemy. And quick assault and a nice hit there, knocking out. Then he's ulting to pull back. Northwest freshly born. And mostly dominated by Bruin Char. Definitely giving him the victory point advantage. Well, not quite yet, but still might result in it. This now belongs to the people and workers of the Soviet Union. More mines going up there, good, good. Again, no mines whatsoever here from Northwest Russia. Born, no S mines to say cover against. Thank you, they got a grenade on the man. Oh, there we go. Everybody died horribly. Brave infantry have made the ultimate sacrifice. Oh, so horribly. And there we go, Tiger Tank has been dispatched to help break this stalemate. As the Jaeger infantry continue to hold the position, more rockets tearing in and wiping out almost the entire MD crew. Stoop ready to support. Engineer infantry slowly leading the way. Got the Austrian well consider moving in as well. Taking a far right flank here, just spinning up his armor so it can't be so easily focused down both of them. Duke and this Duke almost down. In fact, almost went to one here. Max getting fired upon, Jay's moving straight into everything. And managing actually a Panzer Fox penetrating in front arm on the H-35. Austin hitting with the conscripts with the damage engine of its own. Tiger pulls back. Stu Golf is the pull back. And there goes Strafing Run going in. Looks like North West Freshly Born decided not to further push the issue over there. Point here falling. More rockets going off. MG-42 pretty far ahead up here. Might get the comm engineers. We are ready to build it. There we go, and it's in the RPG guys opening up, turning into the other machine gun crew as well. I mean, rather consistent use of it, and again, it just proves devastating. In fact, helping his crew to reach veterans in three. I mean, it really is one of the best ways to basically get into veterans in three, and that is good consistent use of it. Since again, it allows you to do a lot more damage. Field bows there going on on the MG. He might just lose the veteran in three MG just as fast as he gained it. And Pioneers here, both veterans two moving up to could repair the Tiger pretty fast then. Enemy nope. Oh. Side side against it. Tiger quickly turns. 88mm gun opening up here. Then he is fair to clear it out. MD42 providing covering fire again. The MD42 is engaged his opponent rather proving his advantages. Pioneers pushed away. Now go almost getting the conscious ball. A second T3045 here arrives to support one chart in the efforts. And we see the Katrusha fight back at the Tiger. The enemy is taking what we have secured. Fire. Definitely a lot going on here in this fight. He's going to seem a bit bold, a bit bold. Tiger moving ahead. And you fight through here. Also, veteran two for one Tiger could use any other numbers. Not that he's doing it. Yes, 
fact, it looks like one child is not a huge user of Intenia on beating rounds. That's definitely a bit unfortunate for him as it is a powerful ability. But it is time for the game analysis. Currently, Tracing is sort of a 50 50 split of the map. Big two points that are in the slight advantage here of Northwest Fresh Reborn at the moment. In terms of sort of combined arms, I mean, they've sort of got a decent mix, both of them with artillery, support weapons, and what like. I mean, partly though for Wound Charge, partly because of all the MD42s he managed to get off. Northwest Fresh Reborn, which is a bit awkward. On the other hand, he does possess more armored assets, though to a certain extent, at the same time, Northwest Fresh Reborn does possess some of the bigger ones. And of course, the SUD5 is always a good tank destroyer, so in that regard, I mean, he can still present quite affiliated to Northwest Fresh Reborn. And then SUD5, uh, the Sturm Geschütz, I was feeling gear there, is still also in dying need repair, so I mean he quickly needs to repair that one, get it back in the fight, particularly if he can get to veterans one, I mean he gets target weak point, which is always a handy ability. At the same time, I mean I think he needs to shore up the flanks here with some S-mines, right here could definitely prove helpful, same thing on the west side, I think would definitely do him a bit of good there, sort of limit the mobility that Wuhan Char can actually do there in terms of rassing, and sort of bleed him out a bit further there. I also think he should actually try and launch some sort of flank assault here with the Tiger and the Ospin on the flanks here, draw the attention, then move the Stug up here, perhaps with the second Stug, and then sort of bombard all the armored units as they're occupied with the Tiger, getting off a few target weak points and such. And we also, being veterans, if one could use that to blitz and perhaps get behind the field gun as well. I mean, there's some options there. It's definitely going to come down to a bit of maneuver there, I think. As for Buhan Chami, he needs to push forwards, of course, he needs to sort of press up in the flanks, he needs to do with some larger forces, he needs to mine down there a bit as well. I think he should consider aiming up for some more h 5s or some field guns. He needs something a bit more in the tank destroyer department to sort of really deal with that tiger, or at least keep it contained, and so he will also give him a bit more advantage. He also needs to consider methods for taking out that panzer as that's beginning to become a bit of a threat there already with 10 kills on it, and that count is only going to rise as the panzer effort continues to fire unharassed throughout this match, so that's definitely something I think he should consider looking into before it takes too much of a toll here on the Soviet forces. Otherwise, I mean, you know, begin using some incendiary armor rounds on the MP4, I mean, it really would do better against the German infantry, since again, you know, it also increases penetration, which means it will all of a sudden ignore the infantry armor the Grenadiers have, which again means it will basically do even more damage versus them and really tear through those Grenadiers. So, I mean, there are definitely some options there to consider for Mr. Wuhan Cha, and he should definitely also consider launching a larger assault with the T-35 support by the S-35. I think that could also work out nicely, in particular in conjunction with a nice strafing run attack and some other things in tow. But popping over here, and also terms of no damage, I mean, they're actually pretty close. On the other hand, we do see North West Fresh Reborn is in lead with the kills, so that is to keep in mind. But in the fight here, Panzer flying away once more, once more. Several rockets impacting him on the T-35, doing little damage. Yeah. Stug finally getting repaired here by the Veteran 2 Pioneers. Which again means it will be sort of speed and repairs the Veteran 2 Pioneers do repair faster, which is always good, which is always handy. Also, I mean, he might want to consider getting a Panther to help him dealing with the enemy armor. That would definitely not be a bad idea. Would definitely find a bit of punch and some speedy punch at that. That's something I think he should consider actually augmenting his Tiger force with. And you fight through here. Quickly, some of the conscripts, perhaps not as best angle, but we just need to retreat here from him. Despite it actually quickly suppressing the conscripts. MD42, veterans are here coming under fire from another MD42. We shall have the advantage here. Lots of rockets. Possible softening up the front lines. Additional infantry arriving here for Northwest Mission. Oh, he might lose the MD42, he might lose it, he might lose it. And he did. Ah, shice it. Tigers were advancing, can't get immediately taken away here from the Tiger, two men down, two men down. But the Tiger is quickly driven off there with a few successive shots from the s 5 Focus sight, giving off further shots here. Two moving up and there we go. Storm of Extraping Run going in, Ospin moving in. 
He could try and flank behind it. Good try, but perhaps decides against it. Shouldn't say taking every loss, it's still make almost wiped out. Metron's one for the HD5, two goals are pulling back, not getting off any good hits. A bit dangerous, a bit dangerous there, a slow push, a slow push. The Juju firing in. Doing a bit of damage, getting Metron's one, no kills though, no kills. The pressure is on here. Duke finally getting Metron's one, there we go, tracking. These kind of these are conducting a bit of a suicide assault. It looks like they actually managed yet. They will need to get out of there rather rapidly unless they actually intend it to be that. But we are seeing here that he is quite nicely pushing back here. Northwest Bush is born. Grandchild making good progress. Need to lay down some mines though. And more rockets going off. Imam Yaraketen. Large infantry force moving up, but that should be cavalry. I mean, the way they're rather close to each other could result in the Katusha getting off a nice kill count all of a sudden here. Which would definitely not be fun. So it looks like they managed to catch an infantry force off guard. But a nice hit then return for the T-35, almost off something tight, but it is squad. And we're saying a second still giving sense of support, the Jaeger troops. Our opponents are seizing the sector. Also close to veteran G2. Quick rifle grenade here. Doing little. Tanks might move in and support. Veterans increasing the health of the Osman considerably. Also, sending those conscripts running in a sheer panic. S25 moves ahead. Stoop taking a hit. Could he try? No, not enough minutes for a target weak point. Needs to be careful here. Looks like those was thankful I missed. And MT3045 here supporting the MD42. It looks like most of the efforts are being. Centered here by both players, in fact. A little going on, on the flanks now at this stage of the game. And he spawns full sense of assault, just getting shredded. Needs something more if he wants to push through. Second Stug arrives, Tiger's ready. Others too quickly getting repaired here by the Venture 2 Pioneers. And looks like he's going in. Oh, it looks almost like he might have killed something. Two assault guns. Panzer Werfer and a flak Panzer moving in. Could this be it? Also making it to T-35 is an easy target. Action 5 though, opening up here in the... Tiger tank. Two Stukes moving in, field gun firing late. Veteran 2 for the Action 5 almost down, almost down. Can he get it? Stukes need to fall back. Ah, should I sit? There we go, Veteran 2 though. T-35 moving in. Stukes getting suppressed. Pin, shot, murder, strife. Veterans here for the field guns, two almost down, Tiger continues scanning Veterans 1, he could blitz right now, he could blitz and go after that Veteran 2 HD5, probably knock it out, there we go, blitzing, blitzing, ah he quickly seems to lose heart, instead of actually giving Veteran 2 to t T-3045 without destroying anything, that was a bit of a wasted effort, he really should just have gone full in, Panzer Fabric continues to rain down dead, Katusha firing up point blank here, straight into the advancing wave for the Stook somehow still alive, but no, went down finally. He might be able to get that Katusha, but no, looks like he will escape as well. Or oh, will it, or oh, will it? Stook here, Betty's too great to move forward once more. No Panzer Faust here trying to help. Field gun might go down. In fact, it looks like a nice opening up for the Betty 2 Stook. Though having to move through rather bumpy terrain, all's leaning behind the light machine gun here for the Russians to use. Can he make it? Can he make it? A fresh S-25 that arrives! And the Stuke will have to fall back in the face of this. Black Panther flanking in. Can he get the T-3045? 
but looks like the Ashley Park in fact knocks it out the veteran 2 1 makes short work of it and the other suit went down as well such heavy losses he just lost two of his veteran in two arm in fact he lost all of his veteran in two armor right there in fact handed over a flak panzer for his opponent to utilize but so far looks like Wuhan Cha is not interested in this otherwise good piece of German equipment interestingly enough Grenadiers Tiger doing all right His only panzer left here. Kicking up another storm here with a panzer effort. Firing blindly, had he perhaps tried a bit further back, he might actually kill something. His force are beginning to look depleted. He needs to begin spreading out troops. I mean, those Katusha firing now. Go, we're actually seeing tactical movement. Good. Not bad, not bad. Pioneers here, though, are forced to take away. Soviet forces engaging us! A rapid More advance here from Northwest West Reborn ends. That machine gun has not been picked up by anyone. And also, he's back to make the slight mistake. He's spreading out his script actually. He should just focus one vehicle at a time. Instead, he's rather leaving one of them. And we've seen perhaps what could this be? No. Stroke with Air Force. We're going to fight. It might have been a too close as a ball, but that is not the case. Then he's going to take heavy loss. He needs to fall back. He needs to fall back. Tiger moves in. Air 5 here. Taking heavy hits there from the Tiger tank. Close to Vetching 2, by the way. But not quite there. Not quite there. Pioneers here. Our foes have 300 points remaining. Increase your efforts. Infantry can march double time at your command. And still no attempt at utilizing that flag punch. And that's a bit of a surprise there from Wuhan Cha. Panzer Air Force also looking a bit worse for wear. They were quickly going to be repaired here by the expert pioneers. Another push forward. Veterans you flee for the Soviet MG42. Definitely been a bit of a fight there if that's possible. This is now German and now Northwest Fresh Bomb making a push for all victory points, not repairing the tanks or anything anymore. Not even focusing on it. That's actually not good at all. He needs to sort of quickly get it done. I mean, he's got a lot of damaged armor, in particular several veterans, two H-35s and T-34s, which is definitely not something he wants to be left behind like that. Veteran 2 with the Panzer Alpha. Increasing rate of fire roll by decreasing the cooldown and also increasing the accuracy of it. Again, though, he really should just focus at one vehicle at a time instead of spreading out conscripts to repair them all. That's just basically going to mean they'll all take a long time to repair. And he should be focusing on the Vetsuit 2 first, the Vetsuit 2 T-3045. Ready. So rather than fortune, instead he's doing rather the opposite. In fact, completely. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. A second Tiger, by the way, has arrived here. Looks like he's taking off the kit gloves. And over here to one Chai again. With the much larger armor force again. But the way he's hit up currently, it is rather vulnerable. Rather vulnerable, a few good strikes here could result in some heavy losses. In particular, if one Tiger decides to blitz in. And there you go, two Tiger tanks advancing, rolling slowly. If you just move ahead and again, blitz, blitz, blitz. Panzer Battle firing into the mess, into the long of armor. Just four outs, men out. After some patch match, and there we go. T-35 coming up right with the two Tigers. Close to victory two on this one. Still rather hesitant. And here's the quick repair though, at the front. Quick 
quick safe on the dust. Nasty work. They're almost wiping out the Grenadiers. We're just seeing the tank is advancing. Really should just push them. There we go. Looks like yes. Looks like yes. But need to keep it up. And Blitz, there we go. Finally. Finally. And there we go. A bit of a mistake there. Focus sight. Bunset was he's aiming it, he's driving it. Veteran two for the tiger. Other tiger needs to move in. Both S25s, veterans one, by the way. Both S25s, veterans one. But the tiger gets it, the tiger gets it. Damn close here. Tiger though goes down in a cloud of smoke and fire. And the assault continues for the other tiger, intent on avenging its fallen brother. Actually, five in close again. Diamond also close again. HV. There we go. A wrong turn. Exposes the side. There we go. And the other should five ramming the tiger. Only shocking the crew. Field gun crew burning alive as the pioneers pouring in. Five hundred members firing in as well. Everything's been fired at field gun, yet nothing seemed to do the trick here. And there we go. Second team, 35 five down. And third one arrives. Tiger just needs to get out of there, by the way. Be the pioneers. Rather vicious fight right here. Heavy losses on both sides, but clearly we weren't able to lose up that engagement. I mean, again, had he prioritized the pass, it's probably looking a lot better. And he lost the field gun and the MG42. Pounds of effort really proving lethal today, all of a sudden. Continue play for the victory points though by both sides as all of this is going on. Continue have Rasmus here. T3045 hoping to catch down an MD42 crew on the run. Tiger falling back, heavily damaged by needs need to get to work on that one quickly though again. Both are veteran two, so the repairs should be reasonably swift. Sturmovic close air support is available. Our T34s have been outfitted with 85mm guns. We will follow their tracks to victory. Another T-3045 available. She so wish it. And there the we team. go. Man down. Panther of here swiftly being repaired. The pioneers are doing a sterling job. We have 200 points remaining. There we go. Pioneer's going to move over to the Tiger to repair that. Is he aiming for another Tiger? I mean... I think a panther right now could do the same job a bit cheaper. Just my opinion though. Awaiting command. Squad replenished. Tiger slowly advancing. Needs keep in mind needs to be not moving for you to repair it. Looks like you might be able to get the shooter here, which is also betching too. And there we go, two veteran, two pioneer squads working on it, and that is going rather swiftly as you might be noticing. I mean, they do have quite the repair speed, those vet two pioneers, and it is happening rather quickly. It will probably not be in a minute before that Tiger is fully combat operational again. So, I mean, it's always a good thing to, you know, get a bit of veterans on your pioneers if possible. And so, getting flame for us helps with that. So that investment overall has turned in quite handily here in the late game for Northwest Treasury Born and allowing him to sort of quickly get his Tigers back in the fight. Need to be careful that Panzer effort though. Another lethal barrage here. Or so I thought. That was rather disappointing there, Heinz. Advancing. Oh, Pioneer's getting caught in the middle of it. Never mind that the entire center of the pocket here has been absolutely shattered. Gunnies here fighting versus conscripts. We will win this. Mortal catching one of the Gunnies. Not looking good. Veteran the three of both sides, but I think the conscript will win. There we go. And there we go. And Tiger is now available. Looks like he's floating a bit of resource there. MD42 now at the far front. And a quick barrage there from the field gun. Field gun almost getting the entirety of the MG crew. And 
There we go. Tiger moving ahead. Second Tiger arriving. And looks like the Germans for once and might be calling in some air support. There we go. Cannon in full. Well this is strafing round there doing pretty much nothing. A bit the problem with the cannon in full. I mean, can still just basically end up shooting well before the target is even there and basically end up doing no damage. Panzer are firing in. Field gun wrecked. Not looking We're seeing another issue. If I be on the way for one chart. Country been counting a tiger. There we go. T35, five down to half health. And it looks like the tiger getting ready to assault from several angles. And Tiger appears from behind the trees. And there we go. Cannon and Fulker does quite the number there. And game over. When Char pulls back here. The assault on the 101st Jäger Division has failed. This part of the woods is still held by Deutschland. Rather brutal fight in many regards. We saw some rather nice mobile fight for both players going on. Not just head on charges. Although by the last... 10 to 20 minutes, that's rather largely what it came down to, but initially, I mean, there was a lot of fighting here, here, and, you know, pretty much all over the place, which was nice to see. I think, you know, Mr. Northwest Refugee Born could have done with some mind on the flank again, that probably sort of limited the effect of overall harassment going on from Wuhan Cha, and certainly Wuhan Cha could also have done with a few more mines there on the flanks as well. I mean, it was a nice combination of weapons, and again, we also saw, you know, the problem with the Northwest Refugee Born start, there were lots of machine guns, I mean, he handed over half of those to the Serb player, I mean, that's something you actually have to be careful with when you play that kind of play. The fuel cash has definitely turned out to be a good long-term investment there for... Northwest Fresh Free Bones, so that was nice, and also basically a nice combination of armor from both players. Though I do think at the same time, one chat times was perhaps too defensive. And again, I mean, he never secured that Austrian flag panzer. I really think that was a massive mistake that can easily be used to sort of drive behind the opponent, knock out the panzer there, for, and otherwise cause some havoc. So that was definitely a massive mistake right there, amongst other things. Also, again, a bit too passive at one stage here with his arm, and he probably could have been pushing forward with the HD5s a bit more properly and in that regard you know he lost out in some regards and again gave Northwest Fresh time to sort of rebuild and reconstitute so that was definitely perhaps also a thing and I think Northwest Fresh Reborn overall could have flanked a bit more with his Tigers been a bit more aggressive with the Blitzkrieg and the abilities for there but nice use of Intendi Army which really kept up the pressure and certainly bled out his opponent quite a bit the Wuhan Chai in the end actually ended up doing noticeably more damage in Northwest Fresh Reborn only slightly more so that was actually quite interesting to note as well in that department. In terms of commander usage, I mean, Wuhan Cha definitely got more of it than North First Fresh with his. I mean, overall, I mean, he also pretty much almost utilized the entire bit. He basically only needs to use relief infantry, and that's only a bit of a questionable ability at the moment, so I don't blame him for that. But overall, nice, aggressive fight. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned something from it. If you did, why not subscribe? Tell your friends. Share it with everyone. If not, you know... Send in replay on, provide some feedback in the comments. This is Imperial Dane saying cheers and see you tomorrow.